Hello everyone, this is Pratik, a software developer and photographer based in India. In this video, we are going to address a specific issue that suddenly came up with the developer's preview version of Windows Phone 8.1. The phone that you see here is a Nokia Lumia 1320. Well, this video applies to you if you have opted in for the Windows Phone developer's preview program. You can find out if you are a member of the developer preview program by going to preview for developers and you can open this, you can check. If this has been enabled then you are opted in and this update and this video might apply to you. Now, to be specific about the problem, the problem is that when you connect to the Wi-Fi, any Wi-Fi source, maybe your home router or any public hotspot, what happened was that instead of showing the internet connection here, what it showed is that there is no internet access available and this problem persists even after a soft or hard reset and it is quite annoying because you cannot even update further without connecting to any Wi-Fi source. And what most of the people ended up doing is that they just had to restore their OS to Windows Phone 8 and then upgrade again to 8.1 which is very annoying and it is a lengthy process and might also make you lose some data and settings which is definitely not what you really want to do if you have a lot of content on your phone. I would like to share a workaround for this problem and uh, here is how it worked. You just have to switch the Wi-Fi off, go to the settings, switch Wi-Fi off. Now you have to go to all settings. Now scroll down till you find internet sharing. This particular option, internet sharing, it will let you into internet sharing options uh, and you have to turn the sharing on. Now this takes a few moments and after the sharing is on, what happens is it is going to share your internet connection via Wi-Fi and you will be seeing this uh, small icon in this corner that a sharing has been enabled. After you enable the sharing, just uh, let it uh, be there for a couple of moments. And now if you don't have a data pack, maybe this might not be enabled, I don't know because I have a data pack and I can turn sharing on at any time. Now I'm just going to turn the sharing option off and I will return to my home screen. From here I'm going to go to Wi-Fi and I'm going to just turn it on. Your Wi-Fi will not be connected and you will not see the symbol that tells you that you are having Wi-Fi internet access. Next, what you want to uh, do is again go to the settings and you have to scroll down all the way till you find uh, phone updates. Now open the phone update setting and hit check for updates. You will find that this uh, check for updates option actually brings up a screen that starts to update automatically even though you don't have Wi-Fi or mobile data enabled and this is quite surprising I think Microsoft did something that did not let the phone uh, put that notification on that uh, data is being received so all you have to do is just wait till this progress bar comes till the end I put a screenshot because right now my Wi-Fi is totally functional and uh, I had a screenshot when I was facing this problem I have put it up on the video right now. So you just have to be patient till that update gets installed and after getting installed, uh, restart your phone and I hope you are going to get Wi-Fi access as usual and as you had before this problem started. So right now I have been through that problem and my Wi-Fi is completely functional as you can see. I can access And as you can see, I can access my website and I'm able to access the internet once again and I'm still on the developer preview version of Windows Phone 8.1.
thank you for watching and please hit subscribe or like if this trick worked for you and I hope you found this useful.